Hello, my video watchers. We are here in Morgan Hill, New York to investigate a banshee scream in the middle of the night. We're going to see if that's true or not, but today we have my friend Frank here. Frank, get your butt over here. He went the wrong way, fellas. We are here to investigate the banshee. And if it's not here, I'm going to be really upset. Why do you have to act like an asshole in all your videos? These woods aren't haunted. I make a pretty good side money on this. Vlogging, I have 43,000 subscribers and they're all mainly kids, but what the hell. 43,000 people watch your videos? Fake videos, man. Don't you feel bad about all these little kids you're brainwashing with your bullshit? No, it makes, makes me a little good side hustle, some side cash. I could care less. <laughs> it's kind of cold, man. What's well, cold? If they believe the videos themselves, it's their own fault. Yeah, whatever, man. Did you bring your gun? Three things you never camp without. A gun, a knife, and a lighter. Don't forget a camera. What gun did you bring? I brought my 357. Nine millimeter. I didn't feel like dragging my rifle around. I can't wait to have your stew and biscuits. I look forward to it every year. <laughs> you know, Chris, there's something I gotta tell you, and uh, something I've always wanted to tell you. Ah, uh, don't tell me you're a serial killer. Yeah, I'm going to kill you tonight, dickhead. <laughs> then what is it, man? It's Larry's Chunky Stew. No, it's not. <laughs> Fuck you, asshole. No. I swear, man. Check it out. Dude, for all these years. Hey, man, I just rub a little cowboy uh, rub into it, you know? Give it a little kick. I'm telling my subscribers. Yeah, and while you're at it, you tell them all about your phony ghost videos. All right, let's get going. Here's the back here. Come on. How the fuck you open this shit? Oh. Whoa. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Magician. You got the magic touch. Jesus Christ, you, lose, you lose your cash. I already lost it. It's in the war. <laughs> oh, I gotta get a couple good angles over here. Little but beautiful. The guy can stick. Frank, I need your help with something with this video. What? Look, I came here to go camping. I didn't come here to make a goofy video. I knew you helped me out. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, you grab a stick, and you're gonna, you're gonna, you're just gonna break the stick and make it seem like there's something in the woods. Come on, seriously? It'll be, it'll be quick. Well, you'll be in one of my videos. Yeah, but people will see me, and my coworkers already think I'm strange. Well, I think you're strange too, so it won't make that much of a difference. If I do this for you. Will you shut the hell up about your videos for a minute? At least until we get camp set up? Yes, I promise. It'll be quick, I promise. All right. I knew you helped. Let's get this over with. Okay, so you're going to grab a stick, and I'm going to be on the pan towards you, and pan at myself. And then at that time of me panning at myself, I wanna, you're going to break the stick, and I'm going to pan at you, and it's going it's gonna, to it's gonna be hell. It's All gonna right. Be awesome. All right, I got it. Let's go. Okay. All right, you're going to walk up a little ahead of me. But don't break the stick and don't let me see it. All right. All right, guys, we're back. We're walking through the haunted woods, supposedly. And so far, nothing has happened, but we're going to stay hopeful. Uh, dude. Oh, my God. Did you hear that? Holy shit. That was crazy. We heard something or someone in the woods. There's no one around. 
absolutely no one. It's getting crazy out here, guys. I'm gonna get back to you in just a little bit. Man, that was so stupid. I, I mean, who would believe that shit? It's simple entertainment. Yeah, it's more like simple-minded. Believe what you will, I get paid for it. picture of a tiny little mushroom or something people love that shit. Well since the stew isn't homemade are the biscuits? Oh yeah those are made from scratch. I brought some butter for them too and I was thinking about making some hard tack but I didn't. What the hell is hard tack? It's basically um, water flour and a little salt baked. Back in Civil War days the soldiers would carry them for food and they're called hard for a reason. They are damn hard. I couldn't imagine being in the Civil War. I know Gettysburg is like the most haunted place in the country. Those are the type of videos you should be making. Real ghost investigations and real haunted places. Yeah, I thought you didn't believe in the ghost though. I believe in the paranormal. I've had some stuff happen to me that I can't explain. Like what? When I was about 12 years old, my aunt moved into my parents' house. Aunt Beth was on my mom's side. Anyway, she was sick. I don't remember from what, but I remember her sleeping a lot and coughing at night. <coughs> and as the months went by, she only got worse. She stopped eating solid foods and would only eat soup. Eventually, she would only drink water or tea. I remember seeing her in this rocking chair. So I go in there one night, she's just sitting there in the chair, no TV, no radio on, just sitting there rocking back and forth. And she looks up at me with this blank expression on her face and says, I'm dying. I told her that she's going to be okay and not to say stuff like that. She didn't respond, so I left the room. The next morning I heard my mother crying. My aunt had passed in the night. The ambulance came and took her body away, and there wasn't much talk after that. For some reason, I woke up in the middle of the night and decided to head up to my aunt's room. And as I pushed the door open, I remember it creaked a little bit as I stared into the darkness. But the moon was bright that night in November, so I could see into the room. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, it got real cold, like, so cold that I could see my own breath. Then I look up, and I see that the rocking chair is rocking back and forth. And it just stops. I look to my right, and there she was. My aunt just standing there. I could see right through her. She extended her arm out with an open hand. And I thought I could hear her saying something, but all I could really see was cold air coming out of her mouth. I didn't hear any words. I ran back to my room, jumped into bed, through the covers over my head. I don't think I slept at all that night. And I never told anybody that until now. Dude, I have the chills right now. Like, why are you telling me this now, though? Honestly, I don't know, man, but it feels good to tell somebody. Well, now I feel like an asshole. Why? Well, I've been making all these fake videos about hauntings and ghosts and stuff and creatures and banshees. Just have fun with it, man. But you should really start considering making some authentic videos. Yeah, I will. After this one fake video, I promise. After this one, I'll start making real ones. Yeah, take a piss. All right. Uh, time to uh, entertain the little bastards. Goddamn fire's making me tear up, man. You're lucky the smoke's not blowing in your direction. Fuck it. What's up, fellow viewers? We are over here in Morgan Hill. I got the whole shebang hooked up right now, guys. Look at this. We got my flash being retarded. The flames are looking flamage. And uh, I'll show you the little abode. It's all set up. Hopefully you can see it. My flash is being really stupid right now. I'm going to bring you over to the lake 
which you probably still can't see, but I'll still try to show you. Beautiful, isn't it? Pitch blackness. Because my flash is retarded. But yeah, we are all set up, ready to go. And so far, no more extra noises or anything like that. But it is creepy as hell, guys. Creepy as all hell. Chris! Yo! Where are you? I'm over by the lake. Alright, I'm gonna get this stew going, it's getting late. Oh hell yeah. Homemade store, now nah, I'm gonna I'm fucking starving right now, dude. Best Larry's chunky soup ever. You know, I don't know what it is, but food tastes better in the woods. Oh dude, hell yeah. Looks like there's something else curious about us, too. Raccoon? Nah, too big. Probably a coyote. Ah! Get out of here! Get it! <laughs> Dude, I should've got that on my camera. <laughs> yeah, you should've. That would've Fuck. spooked out your audience. Oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get it. next time. Chris! Chris, get up! I must have fell asleep. Look. I'm getting my gun. My gun's in the tent. Go get it. What if it charges at me? I got you covered! Go! I can't fucking move! Fucking dude. move! Frank! I'm fine. Just letting off a few warning shots. Who do you think they are? There's gotta be a pack of coyotes. Well, you think they were scattered by the gun shaft? You would think so. I ain't never seen nothing like this before. We gotta get the fuck out of here, dude. Go away! Don't rip us to shreds. We gotta stay by this fire. We gotta build another fire. No, we keep the fire what we have and keep this fire going. That's a last thing opportunity. Guys, holy shit. There's fucking eyes everywhere around us. What the fuck? Fuck is going on? This is actually fucking real, Chris. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? Put that down! Take your fucking gun. I don't know where they came from. I'm scared shitless. I don't know what the fuck's going on. This is real. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. <laughs> Chris! Chris! What the fuck is going on? Lord help me, this is fucked up! Oh, oh, oh. Leave me alone, get the fuck out of here! Huh. 
<sighs> Damn, Paul. It's, it's happening more and more. Ain't there something we can do? We can't come up here after dark. Hopefully people see the signs we posted. 